well welcome back to another video and to one of your guys favorite it is a good old deep clean with me laura style i don't know why i've added the laura style into it but anyway it's been so long since i last did a clean with me and my house needs a real good deep clean today it's been a while since i did an actual deep clean so yeah i just thought i would video it and share it with you because i know you guys really like these videos as i was saying in previous videos i love doing these videos but i just find them a little bit repetitive because I don't really tend to switch up things that much, you know, I do the same sort of routine, use the same sort of products. I do have a few newbie products today though, so yeah, we've got a few added extra things in. Yeah, I just thought this video was so long overdue. I guess it's always nice just to watch an updated clean with me, get yourself some motivation, get yourself in the mood to give your house a deep clean. So yeah, that's what we're going to do today. I'm not going to ramble too much in this intro. Before we do get into the video today, I have a super exciting haul to share with you and it is very appropriate to this video because it is a household haul that's what i'm entitling it so we have cleaning stuff then we just have like general food beauty bits and bobs um and the brand that i'm featuring in today's video is a brand called cherries if you guys aren't familiar with cherries they are basically a household and grocery online store they have an app as well which is amazing um, and they basically just sell a ton of stuff at real affordable prices if you are like me and love a good old household haul then you will absolutely love this company um so definitely check them out i will leave a link in the description bar and i also do have a coupon code for you to get 20% off your first app order which is Laura Meacham 20 so they are just kindly sponsoring this part of the video so I just want to put that out there um so yeah let me just jump on in and quickly show you some of the bits they sent over they very kindly sent me over so much stuff which I'm so so grateful for so I do just want to say a massive thank you to Cherries for sending me that all over and for sponsoring this part of today's video so yeah let me show you what I've got okay so I've just very quickly put you on my tripod and I'm just going to sort of pick things out and just very quickly whiz through it because obviously there's not too much to say about cleaning products so jumping straight on in first thing i picked up from cherries was some barkeepers friends products if you do not know about barkeepers friends then honestly you need to purchase this and get to know because it is the best stuff ever so i have the powder one which is what i normally use this basically gets that like tough stains on worktops um pretty much any surface it tells you which surfaces you can use it on here um so if you have like tea stains for example do you know when they're like hard wearing on your surfaces that just like an anti-back spray wouldn't get rid of this is amazing for it fake tan stains in your bath it's just so multi-purpose and amazing so i love that and then i also got the power spray now i've never actually used this um but cherries had this online so i picked up some of this i'm really excited to try that i then picked up some window and glass spray by astonish this is an absolute fave love this stuff we have three fabulosas if you don't know what fabulosa is it's basically like a Zaflora dupe um so we have the wild rhubarb and the watermelon scent these are a couple of my favorite scents they smell so so good so yeah love those then moving on to some good old Zaflora it is not a cleaning haul without some Zaflora so I got my all-time fave scent which is the lavender escape this is my absolute fave I really love this in particular for the bathroom because it just gives it that spa smell so love that and then I also got paradise peach I've not had this scent in the longest time i feel like my camera just isn't focusing today um so yeah paradise peach and also twilight garden i'm not actually too sure if i've ever had twilight garden um but yeah that's another to add to the collection um i then just picked up some rinse aid because i noticed my dishwasher didn't have any of this in and wasn't cleaning my stuff properly so i got some of that um then just simply got a two pack of microfiber cloths for windows so you have one for cleaning of the windows and then one for dry and shine i'm hoping this is going to work quite well on like my stainless steel as well so i'll give that a little try and let you know how i got on with those um of course we have a good old minky again it's not a cleaning haul without a minky just a refill pack of dishmatics you know i love my dishmatic um obviously you have to replace the heads on them quite often then moving on to laundry detergent one of my all-time faves which is the surf tropical lily and oh i never say this word right how do you pronounce this word guys it's y-l-a-n-g i don't even want to say it yeah yang yang <laughs> I just feel like there's got to be a silent letter in there so let me know how you say that but this is one of my favorite scents in the surf um, i've got two of those i've also been sent this as well which is from swirl and it's laundry fragrance boosters in spring so similar to the unstoppables but just a different brand 
Mm, they do actually smell really fresh, so excited to try those. Then we have some electrical plug-in diffusers. So we've got one from Airwick, which is the Life Sense Bums Baking Scent. Um, so yeah, that sounds great. I'm really excited to try that one. Then we have the Febreze Evolution Plug. Um, I already have a couple of these around my house. I've got another one to put in another room. And then obviously you just buy the fragrances for this. I absolutely love these because they have so many gorgeous fragrances for these and they're quite affordable as well. So yeah, love, love that. Next, we have a couple of toilet blocks. You just simply hang them like on the rim of your toilet. Um, and these are the Harpic Lavender Scent ones. Absolutely love these. Next, we have an elbow grease scrubbing pad. So a little bit similar to the Minky. Although I feel like this side, is it a little bit different? Seems a little bit more abrasive than the Minky. Um, so yeah, I've never ever had this. So excited to try that. And then sticking to the Minky brand, we also have some grill and pan um, kitchen scrubbers. I have three extra large cleaning cloths. I was in desperate need of some just, just like dish cloths. Um, so yeah, that's those. Okay, and then moving on to this, which looks quite interesting. This is called Cool Chef Refrigerator Deodorizer. So you add baking soda, twist and lock, and you just store it in your fridge. And apparently it just deodorizes is your fridge um so yeah i'll let you know how i get on with that <laughs> it looks really interesting okay and then next up we have just simply some descaler tablets just to remove like the lime scale that builds up in your kettle then we have this again i've never tried this fast acting microwave steam cleaner I honestly don't have a clue what this is or how it works. It's empty one sachet into the tray provided. Oh, so apparently like you put some liquid into a tray, put your microwave on and it steams and cleans your microwave. I'm so intrigued to try that. Next up, we have some lavender dustbin fresheners. I have never ever come across these ever. But apparently you just stick these in your bin and they just release obviously a real nice fresh lavender smell. So yeah, that'll be a little bit different instead of like putting my soft balls and my floor in the bottom. I'm super excited to try those. Then I also picked up the dishwasher refreshener in fresh lemon. So just like hangy things that you hang in your dishwasher just to keep it smelling nice because obviously sometimes you can get a bit of odour in your dishwashers. Then I also got a life scent reed diffuser in what scent is this? Oh, Lush Hideaway. But yeah, never tried uh, life scents airwick, so excited to try that. Okay, then just some general kitchen essentials that I needed new ones of. So some scissors, a new whisk because I broke mine, um, a peel. I feel like I go through so many like potato carrot peelers. So I've got another one of those. And I also got these, you know, just to like, I don't know, when Mitchell comes around, he's always looking for some grabbers as he calls them. So yeah, got him some of them. That'll make him happy. Oh, I was also really wanting some of these bag sealing clips. Do you know when you open something and you can't seal it? Like it doesn't have a resealable tab. These are so, so good for those. And I really wanted some. So like, let's say you open a bag of crisps, like a big bag of crisps, but you don't want to eat them all on that day. You can just reseal them with this. So yeah happy with those and then finally just some freezer bags obviously living on my own i only ever cook for me unless mitchell comes over so sometimes i need to freeze things so these are just great to pop them in the freezer instead of having all the packaging also got a nice fresh oven mitt this is gray like geometric print and then just plain on the back really like that and then moving on to the food stuff first thing i got was golden syrup quaker oats so some porridge basically you get 18 sachets i mean i know these are quite high in sugar i just love these these are so so nice um and yeah they're just easy do you know them days where you just can't be able to make porridge yourself i mean not that it's that hard um these are just obviously all pre-measured out so yeah i've got those as we go into autumn winter and i fancy some porridge okay so moving on to the next box like i said in here you've got food and just sort of like general um like beauty bits um, like toothpaste things like that so i'm really gonna whiz through this because obviously conscious that this is a cleaning video and um, but yeah i've got a couple of doves absolutely love dove shower gel and the bubble bath by the way it's so so nice always smells really nice and nice on my skin as well because sometimes i can be a little bit sensitive okay and then also got some beauty stuff from this brand called dirty works um sounds amazing so i've got this coconut body moisturizer milk i've got a bath soak um i've got a buttery salt scrub and then we also have a body butter in shea butter which sounds amazing um also just got a few face masks a foot mask then got some treats for my cats 
Um, oh, also got these for my cats, catnip bubbles. They are gonna absolutely love those. Oh, then picked up some of these. I absolutely love these. I use one every single week, um, and it is the nose pore strips just to help with like blackheads or anything. I'm obviously wearing makeup all the time. It's inevitable you do get blackheads on your nose. Um, and I also got these ones, which I've never ever had, chin and forehead pore strips. So, so excited to try those ones too. Oh, I also got this, which I think is gonna be really handy in the shower and the bath. Just like a really good like back scrub. Uh, do you know when you want to clean your back and yeah it's not always easy is it just with a little scrubber so yeah so excited about that um just some exfoliating mitts pedicure sets some face wipes oh absolutely love these these are some gold eye gel patches with collagen oh my god honestly if you ever have under eye bags if you've not had a lot of sleep put these in the fridge then put them on and they work an absolute treat trust me so yeah love those some toothpaste and then going on to food um got a lot of goodies a lot of goodies um just a lot of chocolate oh galaxy white chocolate chunk cookies oh my goodness they sound absolutely insane terry's chocolate orange bar yes they now do a bar of the terry's chocolate orange so excited about that dairy milk dime bar it's sweet chili sauce my absolute favorite i'm addicted to sweet chili sauce nando's perronade absolute essential um, oh my goodness, Milky Way crispy rolls. I used to have these all the time when I was younger. My grandma used to always have these in the house and oh, I used to love them. They really remind me of my grandma. And just got some butterscotch syrup, some golden syrup, and then another couple of Nando's things, some smoky barbecue medium rub, and these lemon and herb bags. I've never actually tried these. I normally just use the sauce to marinate my chicken, but yeah, they also do these bags. So you can just pop the chicken in, put it in the oven, and obviously it like marinades your chicken and makes it nice and tender. So so excited about those. Okay, so that's everything that I picked up from Cherries. Like I said, I do have a discount code, Laura Meacham 20, which will get you. 20% off your first app order. Definitely check it out if you need just to stock up on some household essentials. Like I said, they are really affordable, great delivery. Um, so yeah, really recommend. Right, we are now gonna jump on to the actual clean video. Please excuse the state of me. Whenever I'm cleaning, I just wanna be in chills. I've just got a big oversized jumper on today, some leggings, some socks with slippers, and just a hat because my hair's so greasy. You can see I'm so pale as well, I've not baked hands, so yeah, perfect day to clean. Um, so anyway, that's how we're doing let's get on with the clean with me okay guys so you will know the drill by now before i start cleaning i have to make myself a drink of some sort today i'm making myself a nice cup of yorkshire tea so make whatever you would like but i just like this there to keep me going. I'll then write myself a little to-do list, which I didn't actually film, um, but yeah, I like a to-do list because it just keeps me organized and I can tick off as I go along. So, first part of the cleaning today, we are actually doing the bins because, oh my goodness, they need a change in. And you know when you can smell your bins? So yeah, I needed to get them out and start cleaning them down. So I've just popped a bit of sephora and hot water into the bins themselves. And then I'm just cleaning the inside of the bin down with the flash French soap, my absolute all-time fave, you guys already know that by now. And yeah, just using a minky to scrub all over. To keep the bins smelling fresh, I'm then using these lavender dustbin fresh cleaners. You just simply pop it in your bin, um, like so. And then I'm also just taking some as a flora, as always, popping this onto some kitchen roll, dropping it into the bottom of my bin, and then just putting new bin bags in. Okay, next up I'm just giving a general tidy of the middle counter. Um, I did find myself some cake there, that's what I'm munching in the background, but then I chucked half it away because I was like, no Laura, you've had way too much cake. Um, so yeah, just giving a general tidy around.
Okay, next onto the kitchen shelves. So obviously we start from top to bottom, but if we start bottom to top, then you're sort of working backwards. So like if you do your bottom and then you do the top after, you're gonna get all the dust and stuff on the bottom stuff that you just cleaned. Does that make sense? So yeah, always start top to bottom. Um, and obviously I need a stool for this because they're way too high. And oh my goodness, the dust that collects on these is madness. So I'm obviously cleaning down all the little ornaments and everything as well. Next, I'm just simply spritzing over the worktops with the Flash French Soap as always and just a minky and making sure I move everything out of the way so obviously we can clean underneath and not go around it. And then I'm taking my Astonish window and glass cleaner and the two new cloths I have. So one is to wipe down and clean first and then the second one is to like buff and make sure that there's no smears. And they are so, so good. I was really impressed with these guys. Next, taking my little stool and my sunish window and glass spray again and just cleaning the extractor fan because again, this gathers so much dust, but obviously I don't do it every day because, you know, I need to get the stool and it's just not something on my day-to-day -day cleaning, but once a week I like to obviously give this a clean because, yeah, it gets filthy. And the splashback, again, this is something that it doesn't always look filthy, but it has so much like oil and just stuff from cooking on it. Next, I'm taking the Pink Stuff Cream Cleaner. I actually normally use Sif, as you guys know, but I didn't have any, and I'm trying to use up some of the products in my cupboard. This is a really good alternative. I still really, really like this. I think I just prefer the smell of the Sif slightly more. It has a slightly fresher smell, but yeah, as you can see, it scrubs up good. It does a real good job and leaves a lovely shine to it. Then we're just simply on to the next shelves, just following suit and doing the exact same thing. Sif, not Sif, Flash French Soap Cleaner um, and just wiping down and then we're onto my coffee machine so I like to give this a good deep clean so obviously I take all the compartments out, change the water, spray it all down with window and glass to give it a nice buff. I'm just taking some Fabulosa in the scent watermelon and I'm just cleaning down all of my cupboards because obviously as you can see they have like little indents where you open them and food collects in there like crazy and also you do see like a few smear and street marks on the actual cupboards themselves so yeah I'm just taking a little bit of Fabulosa on some kitchen roll and just wiping over these I know you're supposed to dilute the Fabulosa but I just personally don't find the Fabulosa as scented and as strong as the Zaflora so that's why I do this yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Next up, I'm cleaning my sink and I'm taking my Barkeeper's Friend Power Cream. You guys know I absolutely rave about this stuff. It is so good for getting like tough stains out. And sometimes on my sink, I have like tea stains and just hard wearing stains that I find hard to get out with, you know, just normal anti-back spray. So yeah, this scrubs up so, so good. Then I'll just move on to the tap as well and ensure this is nice and scrubbed down. And then after I'll take my Sif spray. Oh my God, this is Sif stainless steel. I used to hate the stuff until I realized you need a damp cloth for it. And honestly, your sink will be absolutely gleaming. Next, we're on to the hoover in. Oh my goodness, there was so many bits on the floor this day. So yeah, I'm just giving everywhere a good hoover. And then I'll move on to my mop after. So I'm just using my flash speed mop is it i think that's the one it's called um but yeah it's brilliant really simple to use um and gets up so much dirt <laughs> 
Something else I always like to do is just clean my vase with my window and glass spray because this collects dust like anything. So yeah, I just like to give that a nice clean inside and out. Then I'll pop my faux flowers back in. These are from Home Sense, just in case you're wondering. I absolutely love them. They look so realistic. And then I'll just spritz them down with just some um, fabric spray. And it just smells so lovely and fresh. Next, I'm taking my Fabulosa in watermelon again, just popping a couple of capsules and putting some hot steaming water and this will make your kitchen smell insane. Then back with the Fabulosa in watermelon, I'm putting a couple of capsules just in a spare um, glass bottle. Sorry, I couldn't get my words out then. And then just diluting it with water and I'm just gonna spritz all of the skirts and boards with this and just wipe them down. And as you'll see, there is so much dust. Next, we move on to the dining table. So very, very simple. Window and glass spray by Astonish. Spritz it all down. I have to do it on top and underneath because yeah, you get smear marks on both. So it's not the nicest thing to be cleaning, to be completely honest, it's a bit irritated. I find it hard to get it quite smear free. Um, and then I'll move on to the legs as well because obviously these are silver and show up a lot of dust and marks too. Next, moving on to the living room, and I'm just taking my fabric spray in Fresh Sea Air by Airwig and my little scrubber that I always use. This is a pound from Poundland, just in case you're wondering where I got it from. Um, and I just simply use this just to get off like all the cat hairs, any dust, just anything that collects on your sofa, because like any surface, it will collect dust and just, yeah, just rubbish. <laughs> so as you can see, that little pile on the sofa, that is all of the stuff that I'm getting up off my sofa. So yeah, it's quite crazy how much you get up and you don't even realise. Um, so yeah, just spritzing this over as well, just to make sure it all smells nice. <laughs> So I'm just taking my window and glass spray by Astonish and I'm just going to spritz over all of my mirrored furniture because I do have quite a bit and as much as it's really pretty it honestly is just such a pain to clean. I swear like after two hours you will see dust again on it so yeah anyway it is what it is. And then finally, just giving a hoover of the living room. You'll probably notice that I don't use any 1001 spray on my rug anymore, and that is because I feel like it does clog like the fibers up, and yeah, it, it made mine go all matted, my old one. This is a new rug, by the way, just in case you're wondering. So yeah, I'm not using anything on my rug now in terms of like sprays or scents. Okay, so that is the first part of the house done. My open plan living room, kitchen, and diner. So here is what it looks like, all nice and clean. <laughs> Next we move on to my office. So this is the new room to the house guys, you probably haven't seen this. You may have seen little snippets on Instagram, but yeah, this is the first time it features in a clean video. I will be doing a full office tour when it is all done. I've still got a few more bits to do, like curtains, prints and things. Um, so yeah, I will be doing a full office tour. But as you can see, I'm just cleaning down this desk. Um, it is from Ikea, if you are wondering, and I absolutely love it. It was really affordable. Um, it does show a lot of dust up though, because it's black. So yeah, that is one sort of negative with black furniture, but it does look amazing, so yeah, I don't mind. Um, I'm just cleaning the windowsill as well with some polish, and then I'm moving over to this little bookcase. Again, this is from Ikea. Oh, 
And then next up, I'm simply just arranging my pampas grass. I try not to touch this too much because it does shed a little. And then I'm just cleaning the mirror with some window and glass spray and then just hoovering everywhere. Next, I'm moving on to my dressing room, and again, I'm polishing because this room, oh, I feel like all I ever do is polish. Everybody always said to me before I got these wardrobes, just have a little think about whether you want wardrobe doors because you will find yourself polishing all the time. Your clothes will collect dust, and they were right. <laughs> they were so right, like your trainers and your shoes collect dust. So yeah, I'm constantly whizzing over with the dust stuff in this room. I love it all the same, but yeah, just a little heads up in case you are thinking about getting these, you will be constantly dusting. <laughs> And just getting the hoover and just hoovering around everywhere and then after I'll just get my mop as well and just mop all of the floor in two. Okay, so moving on to my bedroom. So the first things first is to sort out all of the stuff on the bed and to obviously make my bed. So that is what I'm doing first of all. Then you know what time it is guys, it is Mr. Sheen time again. I'm dusting down all of my mirrored furniture. Um, I only have two bits of mirrored furniture in here, just my bedside tables. These are from HomeSense, just in case you're wondering. And then I'll also dust down just the window sills, which I have two in this room, because I have two sets of windows. Once I've made my bed, I like to just take my fabric spray once again, just give it a spritz, just to freshen it up and make it smell insane. <laughs> And then just simply finishing up with a hoover and a mop of the floor. brings us to the end of this clean with me guys i didn't show the bathroom today just because i had already done them but other than that this is a full house clean with me i really really hope you have enjoyed it remember to subscribe if you haven't already turn on the notification bell to be notified for my future videos give the video a like and i shall see you all in my next one Bye bye